So S Q and N T U concept. What is S Q? S Q is your height of transfer unit. Height of transfer unit. And N T U is the number of transfer unit. Now, how can you relate these things? Okay, the first thing, like I, as we have discussed already, the height of packing, height of packing is equal to product of STU into and NTU. Okay, so what should be the value? What there is, what is their significance? So STU height of transfer unit signifies. It signifies the relative ease of separation. Inversely, inverse of relative ease of separation. It indicates the inverse of relative ease in separation. While the NTU signifies, indicates the difficulty of separation. Now you can think like if you see relative ease of separation, difficulty of separation, both are kind of the same thing. Yes, they represent the same thing. Yes, but in a different way. Okay, how? Now just understand. S Q is related to the quality of pen. It is related to the quality of Packing. While NTU is referred for the driving force. Now understand what we what how to understand these things. Okay, so be careful. Suppose we have hundred bread. to distribute and there are 10 people hungry people 10 hungry people they have their limitation that how much they can eat at one time so i have to distribute 100 bread equally to these people and suppose they are needed, they can eat maximum of 10 bread, bread at a time. Okay, so how much, how many bread you will distribute? 10 per person? Now, if I want to distribute the same thing, suppose another day, you are again distribute, going to distribute the 100 bread. The same 10 people are there, but out of those 10, only 5 people are coming. 5 people has come to you and the remaining 5 are not interested or they are doing something. Only 5 people are coming. Okay. If their hunger is same, if their hunger is same means they can eat maximum of 10 breads only and you have to distribute all these to these people. So you will give 20 but they can eat only 10. So remaining 10 breads will be wasted. Obviously if you like if you go in any restaurant, you order the food, whatever you like, how much you can eat, you have done that and if any food is remaining, what you do? Either you pack that for your house or otherwise, generally people throw that in the dustbin. Okay, this is not a good thing, but we are not going in the, those details. But you want these five people to eat all the hundred bread equally. So what will you ask them? You will ask them or you will say, 
please increase your hunger. Okay, so in last day they ate 10 breads maximum. Now you will ask them to eat maximum 20 breads. Okay, so if their hunger increases from 10 breads maximum to 20 breads maximum now, so you can easily distribute these things. Then less people your work will be done. Yes or no? I hope you can understand. In the same way, mass transfer is what? Mass transfer is all about the extent of separation. How much separation you want in the system? Okay. So, if driving force is large, if driving force is large, then you will need less number of transfer units. And your desired extent of separation will be achieved. But if driving force is small, then suppose if their hunger is small, one person can eat maximum of four breads only. Then how many people you will need? 25. Similarly, if driving force is small, how many stages, how many number of transfer units will be required? More. So that is what NTO is. NTO is inversely proportional to the driving force. That's how you can understand. And it signifies the difficulty in separation. Basically, what we want, we always want the uh, driving force to be large. Plus, we want in the less effort that work should be done. In the less number of transfer units, the desired separation shall be done. So this is the significance of NTO. Okay? But this is the secondary thing. NTU is the secondary thing. First thing is STU. First thing will be the STU. Whenever we have to study the things, when we, whenever we have to compare the things, first we will look at STU. After that, if we are not able to answer based on STU, then only we will go for NTU. Okay. Why? Because driving force will come second on second point. First it will be equipment like suppose you want to separate air in oxygen and nitrogen we can use this we can do distillation also but you know that gas permeation through membrane is relatively easy and less expensive so what will you prefer gas permeation but if gas permeation is not there through membrane separation and you don't have any other choice then by default you have to go for distillation Similarly, first we will see the quality of packing. Here we are using a packing where the packing is going to provide the interfacial area. So first we will check the interfacial area. And that was the requirement. That's why we were using the packing. Okay. So packing was supposed to use, supposed to provide the higher interfacial area so that the interface mass transfer can be increased and thus the separation can be increased. Okay. But if your packing is not going to provide you the desired interfacial area, the large interfacial area, then obviously packing is not, not of good quality. Then why, what you will do with others? Then why you will check for the driving force or any other? That is the point. Okay. So, if you know, HTU is generally, like if we talk about the gas, so G dash over, Ky dash into A. Okay, where yeah, this is called by mass transfer coefficient, we have discussed already. Gas mass velocity, A is the interfacial area, specific interfacial area. So if specific interfacial area is large, then S2 has to be small. So that is the point. N2 shall be small, we have already discussed because we want large type small. And S2 shall be small as well because we want large specific interfacial area. And if both the things are small, so obviously the height of packing will also be Okay, so you can understand the same thing from a question also. There you have a question in your GPY. Okay, so see. Like this question, 2013, question number 101. Okay. 
the packing of an existing absorption tower is replaced with a new type of packing. Wonderful. The height of packing and the inlet conditions are maintained same as before. Great. Test height of packing means Z1 is same as Z. The test reveals that the number of transfer unit is lower than before. Means NTU2 is less than NTU1. And you know that Z is what? STU1 into NTU1. Z2 is STU2 into NTU2. They said that NTU2 is less than NTU1. So it is obvious STU1 will be greater than STU2. NTU2 is small, so STU2 will be large. Number of transfer unit has been lowered than before. So obviously height of transfer unit will be higher than before. So STU2 will be greater than STU1. What is the meaning? If height of transfer unit has increased, then it means specific interfacial area will decrease. And if specific interfacial area has decreased, then what is the point? Okay, like what is the point of doing other further discussion? We will stop here only like if you see Cricket World Cup is going on. Whenever any team appeals for LBW, umpires check the ball tracking. If ball has fizzed outside the leg, then they do not do check further whether ball is going to hit the stump or not. Simple, it is outside. So that is against the rules. There is of no use. Review has been declined there only. So same here, if a specific interfacial area has reduced, so what is the point? And it's all about the specific interfacial area in the packing bed, bed column, you know that. So here, first thing, have a lower uh, height of transfer unit, C, uh, D, lower STU. No, that is incorrect, obviously. C, have the same rate of absorption. Obviously, not possible. Inlet conditions are same, everything is same. A specific interfacial area is reduced. So, obviously, contact area between the phases will reduce. Contact time between the phases will reduce. So, the rate of mass transfer between the phases will also reduce. So, it cannot be same. So, B will be the answer. It will have lower rate of absorption because rate of mass transfer. So that's what I was saying. We always check for STU. After that, we will go for it. Okay. If we are not able to study the thing based on STU, or if STU is same by chance, then. But that's a different thing. If STU is same, then obviously NTU has to be same also for the same. Anyways, I hope it is clear now the concept of STU and NTU to all of you. So you can see, you can note down all these things, and then we will move to the next.